Hello everybody, welcome to episode 3, I think it's 3, yes, wardrobe I've shaved off my hair, so, above me is a painting that, um, I'll tell you at the end how I came about it, but uh, what I had to do was write a little story related to the painting, and it's by an artist named Tatcha Pochokina. And she's Russian and she's born in 1956. And it was a few years ago when the painting came into my possession and Marina's. And when it did, I um, did a little story about the painting. So, I've updated the story, so I've got to read it, and uh, I'll read that to you now, and then later on I'll just talk a little bit in relation to the painting above me. From her home in Marfino, which was outside Moscow in Russia, she shared it with her father. Misha, and they lived just on the outskirts. And uh, over time, she had an uncle named Boris who lived in Belgrade, and he was in the Dimla, well, I can't say the word, um, what was I trying to say? Diplomacy. She was in the diplomat business and all this sort of thing and uh, he always invited her to come to Yugoslavia to visit and all of a sudden she decided that she would leave Russia and she would travel to Yugoslavia to meet her uncle Boris. Now when she arrived, she arrived in Belgrade, met uncle Boris then she got a surprise, and the surprise was that she was going to travel from Belgrade to a place called Robin, which was on the Yugoslavian Adriatic coast. And Robin was notorious for artists and artist studios. So when arriving there, she was really delighted that uh, she had. Uh, walked into this sort of artist colony and before she had left her father Misha had given her a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter I think it was um, canvas she already had her brushes and the idea was that she'd do a painting when she was away so when she arrived in Robin she spent some time walking around and getting the feel of the place and eventually she took out her canvas and she did the art piece as you can see above. And when she had finished it, it was only a few days and she got a message from her uncle Horace in Belgrade to return immediately to Belgrade and henceforth she had to travel back home to Russia, due to the politics changing very, very quickly in Yugoslavia at the time, and she went home. So it was a very short visit. And on arriving home, she saw her father, and her father asked her about her experiences and what she had experienced in visiting Yugoslavia. And she they exchanged stories and things. And then all of a sudden her father said, Aha, what about the painting? Let me see the painting. And it was only then that she'd realised she'd left the painting in Robin. And her father asked her, Well, what was the painting? And she said, Well, when I was in Robin, I actually was quite 
influenced by the landscape and the seascape and whatever. But I kept thinking of home. So the painting was a piece that uh, I did in home. And it reminded me of spring in the forest. And that was the story of her painting. You fast forward to myself and my wife Marina walking through Robin. And we went down a little laneway. And we, Marina was ahead of me, and I was walking behind. And I saw some wheelie bins of cardboard and things. I saw the edge of the painting sticking out. So I lifted the cardboard and turned the painting over to find this. And on the back, it's dated 1991 with her name and the title, Spring in the Forest. So that's how we came to have it here. And uh, the only reference I could find about her was that in 1991, she had uh, another painting called Noon that came up for auction. And after that, there's no trace of her. Maybe she stopped painting, or maybe she got married and changed her name. But the little story that uh, I did was um, just related to that. So that's the end of episode three, and I hope you enjoyed it. Later on, you can have another quick look at the uh, painting. Thank you. Bye-bye.